Hi, and welcome to this video on designing an interactive checkbox with Fig. So in today's video, we will create two checkbox variants, selected and unselected. We will also create three different states, default, hover, and focus. Then we will connect all those variants with the prototype tool to create a interactive checkbox like that. So here, if we hover, or press the changes states. And if we click, if we transform to selected, if we click again, it will be unselected. All right, let's get started. Before we jump into this tutorial, let me tell you about Master UI Plus. It's the ultimate Figma design system with over 200 interactive components. You can create amazing user interfaces in no time. Just drag and drop to get fully interactive components in your prototypes. And the best part, you can get 40% off if you click the link in the description. All right, let's get back to our tutorial. Begin by creating a new design file and rename it to checkbox. Then let's go to the shape tool and let's pick the ellipse tool. Hit the shift key and click and drag. And let's draw a 40 pixel ellipse and let's give it a light gray color. Then let's pick again the shape tool rectangle and over my circle, let's zoom in, click and draw a box of 24 pixels by 24 pixels and Make sure it is centered over our circle. And then let's go to border radius and let's give it a four pixel radius. All right, zoom back. Now let's change the color of our box to white and let's give it a stroke of two pixel and a light gray color. All right, that's great. Next, select this two shape and Create new component, rename that component to checkbox. Then let's create new variant. And here let's hit checkbox. And in the property, let's rename property one to dates. All right. Now let's hide this ellipse of the first variant. Also for the second variant, hide the ellipse and change the color fill to a blue color. So this will be the active checkbox. All right, and let's change also its stroke color to the same blue. That's great. All right, now let's go to resource plugins and select Iconify to pick our check color that we need inside our checkbox. So, Check, let's pick the first one, click and drag over our activated state. Let's zoom in and here you can see, let's move this inside our variants and center it vertical and horizontal. And then let's change its color from black to white. All right, now let's change this to default, also this default state then let's um, select the frame of our component and let's create a new property variant and let's name this property style this will be unselected and the second one will be selected all right now let's add some space to our next variants and the first one i'm going to duplicate this variant, let's create a new variant. Let's move it beside my unselected variant. And let's go to the ellipse and reveal it. This state will be hovered. Let's create another variant. Let's select the ellipse and give it a darker gray. All right. And this will be focused again. Let's do the same for my selected variant. 
create a new variant and let's go and reveal my ellipse and now let's change its color to a light blue let's pick this color then let's go to a lighter blue and select my variant and for the state let's give it over it and one last variant for set and let's change the background color or the field color of my ellipse to a bit darker blue that's great now select the frame and let's resize to fit all right now we are going to use our prototype tool to connect my checkbox and make it interactive so let's pick the first variant and let's connect it with the second one and let's go and tell pick while hovering and smart animate the second one will be with the third one while pressing and smart animate then the third one with the first selected and on click smart animate now let's connect this with the second selected while hovering and smart animate then from hover it focus it while pressing smart animate and then the last one with the first one on click smart animate now let's see our final result let's create a new frame let's go to the design tab assets click and drag our checkbox center it and in the select the frame and hit the play button and here we go if we hover we see our state will change if we focus the gray become darker and if we click it will be activated click again it will be back to its default state thanks for joining me for this tutorial you can find the download link to the exercise file of this tutorial in the description down below and if you are looking for more interactive components, then you should check out Master UI Plus. Everything you need will be at your fingertips when it comes to interactive components. And this will make your design process faster and more efficient. And one last thing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.